Ever feel lost in the maze of glomerulonephritis? Let's simplify it using the ABC mnemonic so you can quickly identify each type by its key immunofluorescence pattern and clinical clues. Letter A for ankyovasculitis. Posse immune on immunofluorescence, meaning there are minimal or no immune deposits. C. anca is most commonly associated with granulomatosis with polyangiitis or Wagner's. P. anca is often seen in microscopic polyangiitis and polyarteritis nodosa. Microscopic polyangiitis typically involves the lungs, for example, pulmonary hemorrhage. Polyarteritis nodosa usually spares the lungs. Letter B for basement membrane disease. Characterized by linear antibody deposits along the glomerular basement membrane. The classic example is good pasture syndrome, which can affect both kidneys and lungs, causing hematuria and hemoptysis. Letter C for complex posit disease. Defined by immune complex or antigen antibody deposits that appear granular on immunofluorescence. These can be further subcategorized based on where the complexes deposit in the glomerulus, subepithelial, subendothelial, or mesangial. Subepithelial deposits are seen in post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and membranous glomerulonephritis. Subendothelial deposits are seen in membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis type 2, also known as dense deposit disease. Mesangial deposits in IgA nephropathy. Interestingly, the lupus nephritis can cause any kind of deposits. Remember A for ANCA, posse immune, B for basement membrane, linear deposits, and C for complex, granular immune complex deposits. Keep these patterns in mind, and you'll be well on your way to mastering glomerulonephritis classification.